how to set up Live360 and create an account in the Live360 app. Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel Help Deck. In this video, I will guide you on how you can set up Live360 and then create an account on the Live360 app. So make sure to watch the video till the end. In order to create an account on Live360 app, just open up your app store and then first of all, make sure to download the Live360 application. Then once you've done that, just go ahead and then open it up. Now in order to create a Live360 account, just tap on the Get Started button and then just go ahead and then make sure to enter your mobile number in this case so let me also just go ahead and then make sure to enter my mobile number so basically once i enter my number just tap on the sign in option it's going to send a verification code now all you have to do is just go ahead and then make sure to enter the verification code that you actually receive after you enter the verification code tap on the continue option then it'll ask you to simply enter your first name so i'm going to go ahead and then do that and also make sure to enter your last name once you enter your first name and your last name just tap on the continue option if possible it'll ask you to simply enter an email address so just go ahead and also make sure to choose an email address for yourself now once you've entered the email address just tap on the continue button the next step will require you to create a password so i will go ahead and choose a password for myself so basically once i create my password just just tap on the continue option it will take you to a page where you can simply tap on the continue option if you have an invite code to a specific live 360 circle you can go ahead and do that or you can simply create your own circle in this case then just tap on the continue option then just tap on share code or i'm done sharing or whatever else and you can just select whoever you want to over here then once you've done that tap on whatever else you want allow the required permissions in this case and then once you allow this required permissions make sure to also turn on background app refresh or whatever it requires and after you've done that you you should be able to successfully go ahead and then use the Live360 application in that way. And that's all it takes to go ahead and then use Live360 app and then set up an account. We hope the video was really helpful and if it did help you, then make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you have got any questions, feel free to also leave them down. Thank you very much for watching and see you in the next video.